Hi guys, what's going on? I'm Aaron Hallett. I write original Christian rock. If you're new to the channel, I'm just going to be writing a song now. So I came out this morning, I came up with a really easy guitar part. That's going to be like the chorus part. The verse is going to be very similar, except I'm just going to like switch the chords around. And it's just going to be pretty fast paced. Um, I tapped out a tempo already. I've got my usual drum loop that I just play to to keep time. So that's there instead of a metronome. I just feel it's better to play with drums than click, click, click. So that'll be wiped out and I'll play a drum part later on the kit behind me. But for now, it's there. I'm going to do a left to right, left and a right guitar. So here we go. Just like the song I did previously, I'm going to try and keep this one simple. So it's just two guitar parts, left and a right. That's it. So, okay. <laughs> um, I found the third verse. I'm going to do an improvised guitar solo. I think this is an E major. Actually, let me te test this. Uh... Yeah, okay. Here we go, improvised guitar solo in E major. Solo came out pretty decent, so I'm going to do a bass guitar. I just mentioned that uh, on the guitar solos, I usually turn a little more echo and phaser and stuff up after I play it. I like to track with it pretty dry just to make sure I don't hit a bad note and that smooths it over. But after the fact, I turn that up and it just sounds cooler. So, okay, bass guitar. I'm just going to follow the chords, play a couple scale notes, improvise it. Yay. <laughs> The drum loop is gone, the metronome is turned up, and I'm going to start tracking the drums on the kit behind me, so I'll move the camera over and start doing that. I finished up the drums, I put down some lyrics, I came up with a vocal melody. I don't have a scratch track here. I was warming up and I, I think I got it enough that I don't need that for reference. So I'm just gonna try and plow through this thing. So. Stop me to change you Take your time and throw your life away so, I just finished that up. I don't want to do any harmonies. I'm going to keep this nice and simple. The lyrics are going to be in the description box. So, if you want to check those out and you can't understand what I'm saying when I'm singing, they're right there. They're kind of towards the bottom. Above them, you're going to see Pastor Melissa's... Or, well, actually, above the lyrics, you're going to see where you can purchase and stream my music. It's a bunch of online retailers. If you use one of the ones in the list, go to it, type my name in their search bar. It's Aaron Hallett. Same as the YouTube channel. And you should find me. And then the one I was just saying is PastorMelissaScott.com. That is there because this is Christian rock. And I feel like that is the only good Bible teaching I've ever seen online. And I actually mean that. There's some that seem good, but they've all got a skew, an agenda, subjective ideas they're importing. Like, I don't know. It's just a bunch of stuff <laughs> that really shouldn't be there. I don't know. They don't read the part in the Bible where it says all your traditions make void the word of God, I guess. So, you know, but Pastor Melissa Scott, who pastors Faith Center in Glendale, California, who took over from her late husband, Dr. Jean Scott, who was there from 76 to 2005. She's been there since, well, she was there earlier, but 2005 is when she uh, took over the pastorate and up to 
current. So anyway, they don't bring any traditions that make void the word of God, which is really cool. They don't bring in subjective ideas, any of that stuff. What they do is actually read the scriptures in context, all of them. They translate from the original languages so they can really suss out the meaning that the writers were intending. They go into the historical context, whatever they can do to just get exactly what the book is saying, which is really cool because not a lot of people do that. They always have, what do I want this to say? And then I'm going to try and make it say that. That's not what's happening here. They do a lot of teaching on faith because faith is the only way you can please God. Do a lot of teaching on stewardship and such. And uh, Dr. Scott is one of the only people I've ever heard that points out when Jesus met the woman with the alabaster box, she put precious ointment she had that was worth a lot on him. And the disciples were clamoring and saying, why this waste? Um, Jesus said, leave her alone. She's done a good for thing for me. He's teaching on giving and stewardship and, you know, the proper response to hearing the gospel. And he literally said, anywhere this one. Uh, anywhere this gospel is preached, tell what this woman has done for me, and nobody does it. They do. And, like I said, they actually teach what the Bible is really saying as best as they can. And if they find something that, you know, they were making a mistake on, they're not so egotistical that they'll just say, hey, I was messing this up. It's really nice. Check it out, though. I can't say enough about it. And my stuff is, uh, well, just subscribe, like, comment, share. You'll keep seeing me. And I'll keep writing songs. This one is coming up right now. So I'll shut up and let you watch it. Thanks for watching. Bye. Listen now, North and Abbas. Listen, Charles, waste to burn, but the truth is always here. Never happy, who wants to say it? It's all that I can do.